This was a serendipitous uh, finding. Dr. Hector Valdivia gathered 15 scorpion venoms from around the globe. After finishing an unrelated research project, he put the venoms in a freezer. One day we thought that there could be something in those venoms that uh, could um, alter the, the behavior of these intracellular channels. We, it was totally out of the blue, it was totally um, not rational to do that. Turns out he was right. These venoms can do what nothing else can, form a pathway to deliver drugs into muscle cells. One can see immediate use of this. One can see practical applications of this. Um, there are diseases caused by arrhythmias, specifically caused by um, alteration of the channel that these toxins attack. Heart-related disease is the number one killer in the United States. Currently, doctors can use electricity or even viruses to deliver drugs to the heart. Both methods are very drastic. In fact, one involves an infection. With these toxins, you can use them now to transport cargo inside the cell. And because we have removed the toxic properties of the, uh, of the toxin, now we only have the cell penetrating capacity with cargo attached to that. Cargo that could be drugs. It's very rewarding to think that something that I've been working on for five years might one day be um, carried to market and might actually help people that are suffering from cardiac disease. Venom glands are inside of this part here, this little 